Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to uh, capture my thoughts, and this is going to be part one and part two, costly deprivations. And I was reading the, in First Samuel chapter 13, and from verse 19 to 22, I, I, there were some startling things that I saw over there. Now, the Bible said, the first one, costly deprivations, and the Bible says, now, there was no smith found in Israel. There was no smith found in Israel because the Philistines said, let the Israelites fashion for themselves swords and spears. So see what happens. In Israel at that time, the Philistines intentionally deprived the, 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 the people of Israel, the Israelites, deprived them of, of swords and spears. And, and in actual fact, after depriving them, and the reason for their deprivation, let them be able to create swords and spears for themselves. Something that will speak for them, something that will defend them, something that will also give them ability to conquer other nations and possess. And they said, the Philistines intentionally deprived the people of Israel these resources, these things, they deprived them in order so that they don't become great like them. They don't become great like them. Costly deprivation. But you know, one of the things is that they deprived them of the swords and the spears, but God provided a sling to bring them down. They deprived the people of Israel the ability to fashion, to create, but God provided them a sling. Or isn't that sometimes what we see? That they have tried to deprive, they have not, of the, of the channels or the, or, or the doorways for the have-nots to have. And sometimes people intentionally deprive other people, you know, and, and, and it is there. So you are always at the mercy of them. So Africa is always at the mercy of, of the, of the superpowers. People are being deprived in order to keep them at a particular level, to let them stay at a particular level. That is what it is. It is, it is in the interest of the haves to prevent the have-nots from having because if the have-nots have, the have-nots and the haves would all become equal. Amazing. But this is not just a, a national issue. This is not just an international issue. Sometimes it is also in families. Sometimes it is also amongst people. So sometimes we deprive them of avenues for them to get. I, I, I know, I know of somebody, uh, you, you, you have, you have an ability to do this and that and that and that. And then somebody offered a suggestion. The person says that, oh, you know, I, I have this idea. So no, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't offer this to them. Don't, don't, don't tell them. We will keep it for ourselves. Okay. Well, the, the level of selfishness. But you see, you are not God. And you may deprive me of my sword, you may deprive me of, of, of my spear, but God will provide me a sling. And that sling will be mightier than your sword and your spear. That's what you need to know. So the, the, the Philistines deprived the people of Israel of sword and spears, but God provided a sling. I thank God for who he is. Because sometimes if you're supposed to be a channel of blessing for me and, and you begin to block that channel, God would open another door for me. And what God may use to confirm what you have, he will use the simple things to bring down what you thought you had. It, it, it will confuse you. So what a sword and, and, and a spear, you can't compare it to a stone and a sling. They are nothing in comparison. But God used the stone and the sling. To bring the whole of the Philistines down. Why? Because he wants to show to you that he is God. So you can deprive somebody. Or you can deprive. But God will find a way. When he intends to bless the person. When he intends to lift up the person. Nothing you do. He will find a way. So you know what? This deprivation is going to cost you. You. It's going to cost you. Because you fail to provide the person. The avenues and the channels. For the person also to have. 
You have, he has not. You have, she has not. And you want to deprive the person who hasn't got, they have not. You want to provide, prevent them from having. God will find a way. Let the have not have, just like the haves, or mightier than the haves. And sometimes when you compare yourself, those who are not have, those who are in the, in the valley of have nots become more mightier. Sometimes the first becomes last, and the last becomes first. So, costly deprivations, your choice. See you later.